distancing and to not have social gatherings of more than 100 people, while at present any gathering is probably prohibited. But as we continue to tell people to stay at home due to uh, the lockdown, which is now in its sixth day, of course, it would seem that government itself isn't perhaps mindful of the kind of gatherings it's putting together and the risk that those that poses then to people. Today was certainly a massive faux pas on behalf of the Transport Department. Transport Minister Figile Mbalula visited the Johannesburg city centre this afternoon, particularly the Newark taxi rank. His department had conducted an assessment of measures that were put in place to try and stop the spread of the coronavirus and consulted with the taxi industry on ways to better them. But this was the epic fail. Take a look. We are not going to tell you about the people who are going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. People who are sitting and standing right next to each other. And he was saying to them that we certainly shouldn't be having that interaction. That shouldn't be the case. And that was exactly what he was trying to translate. That unfortunately, you've created that environment. Now, while the ordeal was meant to be a service announcement, my question is, really, was it? Did you really not see that you have created a gathering of at least 100 people and more? And yes, you've got the police to perhaps stand a meter apart, but not everybody else. You've now continued to let the taxi industry and its stakeholders and keep them at risk because who knows what could be lurking in and amidst that crowd. Instead of getting them to spread apart, instead you had an entire display of no social distancing at all. Surely this is where you should have made a concerted effort to either spread these people apart even before the briefing to the police and the taxi industry. We're surely better than this. Where is the planning, the foresight? I appeal to government, please, let's do better. Now.